Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, for today's look, my friend sent me a picture of this beautiful purple cut crease and asked me to recreate it. So I told her I would and do the purple lips as well. So this is my version of that cut crease. And you'll also see that I have this highlight that's like this pinkish purplish color. That is the color Spectra from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Hills. Aurora palette um, and I thought that that would go perfect with this look so if you are interested in seeing how to get this bold look please stay tuned hi beauty starting off with my brow wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills in dark brown I'm gonna be filling in my brows this pencil actually comes with the spoolie on it already so I'm lining out my brows and just filling them in with light strokes. Lining the top and then I'm going to brush them out with the spoolie to distribute the color more evenly. Now I'm going in with my concealer from Unique. It's the um, Skin Perfecting Concealer in the color Satin. And I'm using my Artist Couture brush from Unique as well, which is the brow brush, in order to clean up my brows. It has a flat end and a tapered end for if you use the brow powder, but for today I just wanted to use my brow wiz. And as you can see, I'm cleaning up my brows using a little bit of powder at the end. And just cleaning them up, making sure that they are on point. All done. Now I'm using that same concealer as my eye base for my eyeshadow. And I'm using my Brow Obsession Palette from Unique in order to create the line for my crease for the cut crease that I want to be creating. Then I'm going into Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette into that beautiful deep purple color. And I'm using the um, tapered end of that brow duo brush to um, flick it up to start creating the cut crease. Then I'm going into my BH Cosmetics, take me to Brazil palette, and going into uh, the purple shade in that palette and blending that in with the deeper shade purple from the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. Now I'm using a brush that has no product on it to blend everything out. Then I went into my um, Juvia's Place Masquerade palette into this night champagne color for my brow highlight. And now I am cutting my crease using the same concealer. And now I'm using a Real Techniques brush for the cutting of the crease. And I'm just going back and forth making sure that I have it even and have it straight. Then I'm going back in with my Artist brush from Unique and I'm just going over the line again to define it more. and Get the crease defined even a little bit more because once I blended it out it kind of take away from it. Then that's the Touch Behold Setting Powder I'm using now from Unique and that is going to set my eyes the concealer that I laid down. Then you can see I'm going into the light purple color and I'm using that on my lid as a base for before I put the glitter. It's like a, a pastel purple. And just making sure that that's applied evenly so if there's any um, space on the lid where I put the glitter that will be there then I'm putting on my NYX glitter glue right now and I'm just placing that all over the lid and letting it get tacky then I'm going into this purple that I got from Amazon I got like 24 colors for like 11 bucks maybe 40 it was a lot of colors but I'm just applying this beautiful purple glitter onto my lid with a flat brush and just taking my time to make sure that it is not going over the line into my crease.
And now I'm going in with my NYX matte liner and I'm using this to create a wing liner. It's very easy to use, which is why I love it. It does flake up though, um, so I know after I finish this look, it kind of flaked up, so I just scraped it off and went back over it again. So that is the one con with this liner, even though know, it works really great, it flakes up sometimes. And it could have been that it was with the glitter and that's me what caused it, but it did flake up, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. And now I'm going into the Take Me To Brazil palette and I'm applying the purple underneath my eye. And back into the Juvia's Place and applying the deeper purple as well and blending both of those colors together. And then I'm using this black liner, um, it's a coal liner for my inner, cor inner corner, not my inner corner, I'm sorry, my waterline. And then um, I'm just using a makeup wipe right now and um, shaping the eye and taking off the excess. And then I'm applying my lash. This lash is a lash that I got from AliExpress. So it doesn't have like a specific name or anything. And then I'm going into my Aurora palette in the color Spectra and using that as my inner corner highlight. And I'm using my Tarte Mascara to get my lashes to come together as well as to do my bottom lash lashes to um, stick out more. Then I'm using my Glorious Primer from Unique. This is a nice moisturizing primer um, that's great for dry skin. If you have oily skin, I would suggest using a powder to set the primer, which you see I'm doing right now. And I'm using the Touch Beyond Setting Powder. And then I'm using my Unique um, Touch Mineral Matte Foundation. And it's a dropper, so I like to apply it directly to the face. And then I use a Kabuki brush to blend it out. This foundation, this foundation is the best used with a brush than with the sponge. But once I blend it out, then I will go back in with the sponge to um, make sure that everything is seamless and there are no streaks or anything. And to make sure that the coverage is exactly where I want it to be. So you'll see me bring out the sponge in a minute. And I just want to make sure that everything looks seamless. So I'm just going in now with my satin concealer. Again, that's the one um, that I've been using for underneath my brows. And this is a Touch Mineral Skin Perfecting Concealer. It has amazing coverage. And I'm blending that out with my sponge. It's a very thick concealer. So you just want to make sure that you don't apply too much. You can see how easily it blends out. I really love this concealer. It's one of my favorites. Then I'm going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and I'm just using the powder. I didn't go into my liquid contour because it was really late at night and I just didn't feel like, I don't know, I didn't feel like getting it. I think I had forgotten to bring it inside uh, where I was doing my makeup. So I'm using um, a big flat brush in order to apply that, I mean fan brush, excuse me. So it's not like a harsh contour since I didn't use um, a liquid, but it's, it's still, you can see it. Then I'm going in with my Sacha Buttercup powder. I like to use this powder in order to bake because it has a yellow tint to it and it will bring color back to my face because using the light translucent powder leaves like a white cast on my face and I feel like it makes me look super duper light and I just want to bring the color back so I always like to end my baking with this powder and apply it with a damp sponge and I just went back over my contour a little just to make sure that I didn't get wiped away then I'm using my big fluffy brush to blend away um, the buttercup powder and I used my um, mineral blush in sweet which is from Unique as well for my cheeks. Back into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette 
and I'm going into the color Spectra. Applying that on, on top of my brows, middle of my forehead, bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, cheeks, and um, Cupid's bow. And I just like to blend out the harsh lines to make sure there's not a harsh line where the um, highlight began. Then I'm going into this purple lipstick I got from Lena Lashes. I don't have the exact color, but I can get the, the colors. Both of these are from Lena Lashes that you'll see. I lined out my lip with the darker purple, and then I put a lighter purple in the middle and blended the two purples together. And then I add a little bit more spectra to the tip of my nose into my Cupid's bow. All right, guys, this is the completed look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this bold cut crease. It's not an everyday look, but it is a wearable look. Um, if you guys have not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe so you can keep up with my channel. And thank you so much for watching. Mwah.